Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. Okay, let's start by doing some animations. So the first thing we're going to make for this guy is uh, a walking animation, or we'll do an idle. First, this is called a T-pose, so let's do a T-pose. Um, go into animation. And to bring this tab up and do texture solid so we can see the guy. And then we'll just create, uh, switch this one to action editor and do new. And let's call this one T-pose. It's going to be the first one. This is important. You need to click this F, save this data block, even if it has no users. So it saves this uh, to the file. I, this is one thing I've found troublesome with Unity. I don't, uh, sorry, with Blender. I don't really like the way it works with uh, with the animations. I love the action editor itself, but the way it stores the animation. I've lost many animations through the time. And uh, you it could be because I forget to, to click the F um, or it could be for other reasons as well. So be be careful and save often and in new files so you keep your animations. So this is just a T pose. Um, I'll create another new one called uh, idle. And for that, I'll move the arms down just to the side. It's got long arms now, but that's okay. I think that'll work. Um, oh yeah, what we need to do, I missed already, see. I'll select all of these and do I all channels. Insert keyframe. Stop recording the keyframes as well. I location and rotation will do that. And the F button, as I said, easy to forget. T pose, I forgot. So let's do Alt R to restore everything into the T pose. There we go. I've got uh, keyframing automatically enabled, so that's done, ready to go. The idle. We idle, we want to animate a little bit. So let's do like a breathing motion just. So from here, we'll go to breathe in. So arms back a little bit, spine back. So breathe in, let's see, does that work? Breathe in, breathe in. And then we can tilt the head slightly as well. Okay, and then let's just block mark this with B, Shift D to duplicate. Go to frame 100, and then we set the end here to 100, and then we look at the animation. Yeah, that works. Simple. I guess he'll always have something in his hand, actually, so I'll probably curl these hands. So rotate that one out, rotate this one in. He's going to be holding something in his hand, so I might as well do the gap for the thumb here. Okay. 
there we go. And then I can do control C, control shift V. And mark everything, control C and put that on the end frame here as well, control V. So now we have him standing here, just breathing in an idle position. The F is pressed here. I've got a slight idle animation of maybe the collarbones should go out a little bit too. When he breathes in. Maybe like that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we've got the idle position. Start saving this one with animation suffix here. Start saving this one with animation suffix here. Now we're gonna might as well stick a weapon in his hand so we know how that's gonna behave when he does uh, his different attack animations and stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.